News Channel 13, where the news comes first. Your news starts right now. It was a series of shots that has now divided the Pueblo public. Tonight, we're tracking the sheriff's office shooting of Jesse Cedillo as the DA gets closer to publishing the results of his investigation. Good evening and thanks for choosing Cardio News Channel 13 at 6 o'clock. I'm Heather Skoll. And I'm Bart Bedsoll. We begin tonight with new developments in that deputy involved shooting in Pueblo. The district attorney says he hopes to have a decision soon on whether the deadly shooting of 20 year old Jesse Cedillo was justified. He also revealed some new findings in his investigation to KRDO News Channel 13's Dan Beatty. Heather Bart, a warning. The video you're about to see could be disturbing to some. It's been nearly three months since 20 year old Jesse Cedillo was shot and killed by a Pueblo County deputy here on the 300 block of Quincy Street. Today, the district attorney investigating that shooting says there is video evidence clearly showing a gun in Cedillo's hand. Stop. Caught on cell phone video by a neighbor the moment a deputy with the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office opened fire on Jesse Cedillo. Before shots were fired, the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office says Cedillo was involved in an armed carjacking, leading to a pursuit and car wreck in an alleyway. Cedillo ran from deputies. Then aired by one of our deputies that he has a visual on the suspect who is armed with a handgun and shots are fired. That's what the sheriff's office said the morning of the shooting. Today, District Attorney Jeff Chosner tells KRDO video evidence clearly shows a gun in Mr. Cedillo's hand, but he does not specify what specific video evidence he's referring to and would not confirm if it's this cell phone video. Either keep your mouth shut or release everything. That's Burke okay. Baumgartner, now, the Cedillo family attorney. He says this image caught on the cell phone video proves Jesse Cedillo was not armed when the deputy opened fire. Our country is on fire, literally on fire, because of these issues. It is not appropriate for uh, the district attorney or the sheriff's department or any police uh, agency to be withholding evidence, trying to control the narrative and trying to uh, squash the issue uh, until uh, it's more politically convenient for them. In a statement to KRDO, District Attorney Jeff Chosner says he is looking intensely at this deputy involved shooting and hopes to release a decision to the public soon. Oh. Reporting in Pueblo, Dan Beatty, oh. KRDO, News Channel 13. Oh. Well, now to that related legislation at the state capitol. Earlier this afternoon, it seemed all but certain that the state's law enforcement reform bill would be approved. However, that bill has.